hi everyone so today i just wanted to show you guys how to make this healthy simple spinach omelet um using your waffle maker i know this is done within four minutes and it saves you so much time especially if you're in a hurry in the morning so what you're gonna need is chopped spinach or somehow i pick and pay they're calling the swiss chard i don't know why they're doing that now um salt pepper eggs and milk i'm going to get the milk though i forgot it okay um i just wanted to say that you can also use your toaster if you've got a sandwich toaster to do the exact same thing and you can also use your waffle maker or your toaster to cook um, chicken breast so you're just going to beat your eggs thoroughly so i've used um three eggs here then once you've done that you're just going to add some milk now don't add a lot of milk the amount of milk you add you don't want your your eggs to change in color so that's probably like what three tablespoons four tablespoons roughly i don't want a lot of milk but the more milk you add the fluffier your um, your waffle becomes I still want to taste the egg Excuse the camera shadow there as it's early in the morning. Okay, so that's the consistency you want. Next, you're going to add your spinach. The onions if you want. Um, bell peppers if you want. Like red bell peppers if you like. Um, I just don't have those in hand. So next, I'm going to season this with salt and pepper. And then... I'm gonna pour it in my waffle maker so what you need to do is you have to obviously stitch it on and also spray it with cooking spray um, don't put oil cooking sprays is preferably the best uh, method for your waffle maker okay so I've added it to the waffle maker I've also added a little bit of cheese um, I just remembered I wanted a bit of cheese so I added some cheese on there so what you want to make sure is that it covers the whole entire um, baking surface area and then what you can also do is spread your your spinach um, across and then once you're done with that you just close it and let it bake and then you can do other things in your morning routine and this is what it looks like after two minutes here's a trick now when you're almost done you need to flip it um, upside down just to make sure that it stops sticking on the bottom um, your waffle maker might not do it mine does so that's the trick that I use because on top it's completely fine but at the bottom it sticks so then I'm gonna open it while it's upside down just to try and get it to loosen so you can see there my omelet is a bit stuck so I'm trying to safely remove that so you keep closing it and you keep on trying until it comes out perfectly <laughs> and that's it guys so here you have your perfect omelet that you made in your waffle maker and it comes out with this beautiful shape remember you can put whatever you want in your omelet here today I just used spinach and a little bit of cheddar cheese so that's why mine looks so nice and plain but you can add whatever you want to yours